My hair's a bit of a mess, but to be fair, I haven't done it. I only did it yesterday, and I've just kind of left it like this for today. Hello, and welcome back to another YouTube video. We are in my new house, in my new room. I obviously did film, like, a little bit, like, for um, last week's video. Um, obviously moving into the house and all that, but, like, I didn't really show anything decorated or anything. But it's not completely done, so... I reckon when it's completely done, I'll probably like do like a room tour and stuff like that. It was like two and a bit weeks ago since I last filmed, so because it's like the 11th of January today, so I guess Happy New Year because this is my first like I'm obviously not first video of the year, but like first video I filmed this year. In today's video, we're doing a summer nighttime routine, so I guess probably the main focus is gonna be around my skin and stuff like that, my skincare and all that, um, however I thought I'd do a little bit like filming before that and after that just to show what I do. So I think, um, I mean at the moment I'm actually reading, I'm reading the Harry Potters for the first time. So I just finished the first one and I'm reading the second one. So I'm on to the second one now, I'll probably like read a bit, um, probably up to dinner and then, um, I think I might go for like, it's a nice, kind of nice evening, so I might go for like a little walk around the property kind of thing, and then have a shower, it's, it's wash, it's hair wash day today, so I will take you through my whole routine. I kind of look like I've had a rough day. Anyway, it's nine o'clock. So the sun's like, I mean, obviously it's very cloudy out here. So the sun is like on, I guess, technically going down about now. But I came outside taking Zoe for a walk. <laughs> I'm trying to get Oakley over here. But he's not coming out. It's fine, he doesn't need to. He's probably tired. Oakley! At the side of the house, so there's the house there. My car there. Walking up this way, which is like past the junkyard. Um, which this is like public land, so it's not really considered our land, but literally our land is just there, so kind of just walk walking up the time. I mean no one else uses it, so but the junkyard's pretty cool. There's like old cars and stuff. But look at this. Look at the cloud coming over Mount Grey. Look how sick that is. That actually looks really cool. Aki! Hi, buddy! Those two just look like trouble, don't they? I think it's going to start raining. It's okay. We'll make it quick. Won't we, Zoe? Oh, you're my little explorer dog. Welcome to my makeshift secret garden. Quick little rundown. I'll start from the front because I think it'll look just a bit better. But um, basically the entrance is here through these bushes. So like really, you can't really see it from like the main paddock. This door will eventually be like standing up kind of thing, hopefully. And obviously the tires and the trees kind of, kind of mark it. Not much going on right now. I put these little wild flowers in here. They were like little seeds. I put lots in there, but not all of them came up, which is okay. And then, I can't remember what these are called, but this is kind of like my garden area. And then I want to put this, like, stand this other door up here, so it's kind of like an entrance into the garden. But, yeah, I scrounged those from the, from the junkyard. And then on this branch here, or, or that one, I want to put a, what's it called? A swing. I want to put a swing on those branches. Obviously the fence is, like, literally just there, so it's like... On the road, it's a bit awkward, but yeah, that's kind of the secret garden. I think this looks about as bathroom as it does. No good angles, apparently. We have come to the main portion of my video. I am about to have a shower. 
obviously, because I'm in my bathroom. <laughs> so this is wash day. Um, for me, I usually wash my hair once a week. However, it is currently Wednesday and I haven't washed my hair since two Sundays ago. It's like, not the Sunday that just went, but the Sunday after that. Um, before that. But to be fair, my hair is not all that bad. I'm just gonna have a shower. Obviously not just anything. Um, and then come back and I'll explain kind of what I use in the shower as well, I guess. I just got out of the shower, I just put on some charcoal like face mask thing from Spa Scriptions. It's in like a three pack or something like that. It's I don't know. It's like I got it ages ago. And I just like have not used them. So things that I use in the shower, I swear I never usually use this in these things like on a daily thing, but like I do it on a weekly thing. Or like twice weekly. So in the shower I use when washing my hair, as I said, pretty much once a week. I use these shampoo and conditioner bars. They are from the brand Ahana, I think, or oh no, Anahana. Anahana, yeah. And I have the Manicu Manukai Honey and Almond one. I use this um, exfoliating body scrub, the raspberry and ginger one from Formula, as I say, 1006 or something, whatever. Um, that was gifted to me. It's really nice, I really like it. I mainly use it on my arms and like chest back area. And I also exfoliate my face with the tea tree exfoliating face scrub from Thursday Plantation. Um, at the moment, I kind of basically just using this brand for like all my skin stuff, but I use that, I think every second shower or every third shower. And then to wash my face, I just use the tea tree face wash for acne from Thursday Plantation as well. So that's kind of like all my shower stuff, all in one, I guess. You're kind of on my faucet, faucet, faucet? What are these called? Faucet? Faucet? A faucet? A water faucet? Wow. I think this is just not number one today. Anyway, I'm going to rinse off my ma mask, but I can't record it because you are like sitting on my water tap thing. So I'm just going to wash it off and we'll come back to continue this skincare. <laughs> Let's move on to the next skin part. Next, we're going to tone our skin with the tea tree. Um, and which hazel toner from Thursday Plantation. I use, I used to use these um, makeup remover wipes, but then for Christmas, my sister made me these cute little um, crochet, like really tightly knitted, like circles, I guess, which work the same. Here, you kind of just wipe it all over your face, like, um, I don't really know what toning your face does, to be honest. Um, I don't know, seems to work well. Personally, I would, I would recommend Thursday Plantation. You used to have horrible acne. All right, next. Although it does say like on their actual instruction things to moisturize after toner, I actually put their blemish gel on my blemishes next. I don't know, I just feel like this works better and it lets it actually sink into the areas that are needed. So I just like grab a blob and like obviously my more bigger pimples I probably apply more but then like my smaller ones like my scars and stuff I actually tend to rub it in a little bit and then yeah I actually usually let that sink into my skin before I'll leave it for like a couple minutes but while that is sinking in we're gonna deal with my hair brush it out and then just leave it but I'm not feeling like that tonight so we I'm going to pin my, they're not really curtain bags anymore, but my, my front pieces of my hair back into a roller. I'm going to slip that roller in, obviously it gives it a bit of volume. And then I'm also going to put my hair back in braids because I kind of feel like wavy hair. I kind of section them off into these like the front, I guess they're only kind of like the front triangle bits or whatever. I usually just do one big one. So we are going to split it into two, but then still try and get it as straight back as possible. I feel like it will still work pretty alright. If I had bigger rollers it would be 
even really a pain in this whole thing. Still in the front, still in the back. Yeah, I really don't know how this is going to work out with volume over here. But I've seen it's braided one side. I'm not very good at braiding my eyes, so I would do it more. But that's alright, hopefully. Hopefully this just looks nice. It's a bit scary. Usually when I break my hair in two, when it's wet, it looks really nice. So, this side is like way lower than the other side. Because <laughs> that one starts up here. This one's starting like there. When I'm like shampoo and conditioning, I only use the shampoo shampoo in my scalp area of where like my hair is. So like from like over the front of my head to like here-ish, I like massage it in. And then conditioner, I also only, I use pretty much everything. I use it on like pretty much everything that's like not touching my scalp. So I probably start from like here-ish and then just condition downwards. Pretty much the last step. Yeah, it is, pretty much. I'm just gonna use my tea tree face moisturizer. Again, for Thursday foundation. I'm telling you, I've never had like one whole brand for like my whole face routine. But I am loving it, honestly. For lip balms, I just use Mecca Cosmetica. Yes, it's the um, I think it's the SPF 15 one in it. It's like a, a little lip balm, will be real, and well, lip, almost a lip gloss as well. But honestly, it's super hydrating. Now, another spot's not that bad, but it's been there for a couple of days, so just to help it like kind of go away, I'm gonna use my Patchology breakout box thing. This stuff, honestly, is so good. Because it comes with the like bigger ones that if you have like white heads, um, you put them on. Because I have like the other ones where it's like if you have like a small blemish, it should go away. Oh, oh. you know what I just found? Hell oh, yeah. Oh yeah, I'm putting these on. I think they're literally just from Kmart, but they're so cool and they're just so nice. But I have to leave them on for like 20 minutes to half an hour. Long time. That is my <laughs> skincare kind of portion of this skincare and hair care. Not that I really have hair care, it's just washing my hair. And like I said, don't like my, my natural hair. Ugly as, cannot style it. But that's it. Don't know what I'm doing next, but we'll figure that out. Let's <laughs> put my LED lights up and everyone's like oh no that's so gross so out of fashion I don't even care I don't even care I think they're cool so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep them up I cut them but I did it correctly this time and I have a joiner I feel like you would know that tragic um story if you watched I think my redecorating my room video back in like August 2021 20, I think I have been watching season two of Ginny and Georgia, but I'm actually trying to take it pretty slow. So I've been watching two or three episodes at a time, but I don't really feel like watching it right now, even though it's 20 past. It's so hot. I don't, it's really not like it's, it's waning and it's really windy outside, but oh, I'm so hot. It's so stuffy in this room. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to read a couple chapters of Harry Potter. I fell asleep halfway through a Ginny and Georgia episode last night. So I think I might just finish that episode and then probably go to bed because I have to be up like, not early, but like kind of early for me at the moment, which is really bad. My early is like 8.30, 9 o'clock. I am actually kind of excited to do a room tour. I just need this side to get done and then we're good. That's all we're waiting for at the moment. I'm so excited. I hope. I mean, like, I don't know. I just love room tours and I love redecorating my rooms.
you give a lesson plan and get in his class tomorrow? No. Let's go and so put them in the day-old basket. Oh, I'm worth the wait. Oh, no. No. Whether it was Ellie in this episode, last episode, I can't even remember. They are disgusting. I don't even want to talk about it. Yeah, I am going to head to bed after this episode finishes. But thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give a like and a subscribe down below. All my social medias will be linked in the description box below as well. I really hope to see you in my next video. Posting every Sunday, 4pm. New Zealand Standard Time. And might be some Wednesday video slash vlogs coming up soon. So look forward to those.